Fernando is in the house. Hey, how are you, Joe? Welcome, welcome. Slava Ukraini. Look. Ah, Slava Ukraine. Woo. Excellent. How are you guys? Luana. Good to see you again. I haven't seen you since the um the last audition, right? The last audition, yes. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. thanks for thanks for uh joining us to bury your soul to the world. Um, uh, very kind of you. Um, let's start, mm -hmm. Fernando. Which website scammed you and by how much all in? Well, I had uh reported uh to you guys about uh, ladadate.com and uh, that was that date, yes, that was about, yeah. about uh, twelve hundred dollars, <throat> and uh, I also reported about another one to Diana, to Diana, mm -hmm. and all in all was like uh, two thousand, you know, just on letter writing, uh, sending gifts, and uh, chatting, video chat. Okay, two thousand, because uh, two thousand, yeah, two thousand. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. That's what I've spent so far. Yeah, on, okay. on and what were the other websites? I think there was a few more. Was there? Yeah, uh, it was. Um, the other one was um, Bride Forever. Okay. And the other one is uh, Victoria Club. Okay. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe the salient points about. I mean, the, the the interesting thing about your scam story. Some of the guys that have been on today have been older gentlemen, <laughs> uh, <laughs> like myself. And and you're how how many years young you are? <laughs> well, now I'm 39, but uh, um, the time when I was scammed was uh, uh, two years ago, like uh, 37. I was 37. 37. And you look, you got a you got a Richie Cunningham face. You look young. I would put you at <laughs> like 27. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they tell me that <laughs> as well. Yeah. Yeah. So. So yeah, I mean, even um, even young guys are scams. So how how did the scams go down for you? How did you get hooked? How did it start? Maybe start there. Okay. Yeah. So the first time, uh, my last uh, like testimony <laughs> was about a scam I had uh, back in 2006, I believe, and you know it was a long time ago. But um, then I I got hooked because um, you know they started promoting. I don't know how I found this uh, latter date actually. I was maybe I was googling something, and uh -huh. I found this uh, Lada date, and it looked like a reputable site. Uh, like if you just go there, you just look at it, and you think uh, it's uh, like a serious site uh, in the terms of uh, the design. It looks very highly professionally done, and you know you see all the pictures, uh, like uh, very uh, organized, or you know everything is well or orchestrated. And, uh, you know, you you find out in the end that it's a professional scamming company. It's not <laughs> like it's uh, really professional because uh, they're not uh, thinking in terms of that they're going to help these uh, men get a, a wife or get a relationship, find find someone special. But they want to milk those uh, profiles of beautiful women. They, they look like uh, Instagram models. Just uh, go to the first page. Like on their first page, you see like... Uh, these young hot women and you get hooked right <laughs> because uh one man is not gonna fall for that right yeah too good to be true right <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you think oh I, I have the money like that's what that was my my thought pattern or i don't know my belief at that time i have the money mm -hmm. to pay for this communication so i deserve it so i'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna try my luck right mm-hmm mm -hmm. So how did you, um, yeah, I guess, what are the highlights of your story? Uh, right. Like uh, right now I was um, sending you the story that um, I had this um, interaction with a young lady. And, um, you know, it. Uh, I felt uh, compelled to give another testimony because of, of the wartime scams. And uh, I was, uh, I had been communicating with this 19-year-old. Uh, well, she was 19 back, at, back in the day. Now she's like 21. But um, she she wrote to me like very convincing uh, letters, you know, and saying that uh, age was not a problem, that, uh, you know, all the the usual things that they tell you about age, that it's just a number, that uh, what's more, most important is uh, love and not the age. And I said, oh, oh well, uh, have you realized that uh, I'm almost uh, double your age? <laughs> 
and she said uh, that yes, that it was not not a problem at all. And so we we kept uh, writing, but uh, I I was suspicious at first. I, I just wrote like a couple letters, and then uh, after like six months, she she uh, wrote to me again, and so um, when this happened, I I kept uh, falling for the for the H is is just a number script. And she kept telling something very uh, strange uh, that uh, caught my attention was that she said that uh, uh, she was a virgin and because she was 19 and she was a virgin and she wanted to find her first love and that I was the one. And uh, she like uh, said that she loved me like uh, later on and sending me uh, such type of uh, messages. You know, I sent her just uh, one gift to this lady because um I had been uh, talking to to a friend of mine um, that I met, uh, like, uh, well, not met through 90 Day Fiance, the program the, from TLC, but um, I saw the program and and then I contacted this guy um, through Messenger from uh, Facebook, right? So he he was telling me that um, I should try it out, that I should um, if if I was gonna go to Ukraine because he had been uh, several times there. I should just not go with uh, just one option, but have several options, like at least five. <laughs> so um, it was a good advice, but if if the thing had been real, right? Because if um, the thing is a whole scam, you're gonna get scammed <laughs> 5X. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, I found out like uh, little by little, I was um, testing other profiles, like uh, corresponding with other other women there. And um, they they were all the same thing, you know. They avoided certain questions. They, uh, some of them didn't have like the the video chat thing. Some did, and, and the ones that did, uh, I was very suspicious because uh, they were like um, for hours, like eight hours there. You would log in back. Maybe you you logged in in, in the morning, and then you get go back in the afternoon or evening and they're still there so that was uh, like a red flag that i maybe didn't uh, take so seriously at the at the time but um they even uh, have like um this um like complacency with the agency right it's not uh, i think uh, in the end the agency can uh, scam you but uh, it wouldn't be possible if, if these ladies weren't uh, complacent with them. They, they have like, um, you know, um, like uh, an arrangement that they're going to, maybe they're not the, the ones writing the, the letters or chatting with you, but they are uh, like uh, obligated to send them uh, pictures or certain pictures that they ask for. And, um, you know, a certain proof because uh, this this one was one, one of the ladies that I, I fell for. <laughs> Um, the one I was talking about was uh, Blada, no, Vladislava. And um, I don't know if you can show the pictures later, the ones that I sent you. But this was this was one of the girls. Um, and here she, she's sending you proof that she's like real, right? Oh, you you want to see that I'm real? Here's three fingers, right? Yeah. <laughs> and they also like uh, send you a. If you want them to to write you something on a notebook, they, they also send you that. Like I asked for a circle and she drew a circle. I don't know if you can see it. Square. She drew a square. <laughs> <laughs> she drew it like uh, supposedly. But uh, they they were so keen that they they deleted this photo from my the, the message with this photo was deleted from my inbox on Latadate. You know, mm -hmm. that's the level of scam that they have because uh, they don't want any proof against them. But I had, uh, like, I don't know, cleverly saved it before they deleted it or something. But, uh, you know, that's uh, the level of scam. And uh, this other lady uh, that I'm talking about is uh, Blada, the 21-year-old. She even mm -hmm. sends you pictures crying because of the war. Oh, nasty. So that's, that's how nasty it is because uh, they're, like, acting it all out. And uh, you sent her um, a message uh, through uh, Instagram because I found her there. It, uh, her name is uh, Blada Bokovaya, right? 
and I found her there and I thought I would uh, write to her to see if she responded outside the website. And what she did was uh, she just blocked me. <laughs> and uh, she sends uh, these uh, letters that they're bombing and my, my city is destroyed, uh, shelling every minute. She says uh, terrible battles uh, taking place in Kharkiv and that her uh, house was destroyed and uh, she has nowhere to go. And you know all this uh, sob stories. Uh, this situation helps them. is It's not that it's not not real. The the situations uh, and the stories are real, but um, they use it to scam you because they're they're not even the ones uh, writing the letters, right? Um, let me see here. Yeah, totally. Here's another. Um, here's another um, picture that they use all the time in scamming. All right? You can mm. see. Um, it's just a Photoshop. I love you, and then they they write the name Eric in, right? <laughs> it's typical. Yeah, it's not that Camera they, uh, like, sometimes they Photoshop that, that message. Like, uh, it was written uh, by hand, but uh, they can also uh, do it on Photoshop. Like, yeah. Uh, they can use either thing. So, um, what uh, really convinced me, the, the thing with Latter-day was uh, that... Uh, they convinced me with the, the photo proofs that they provided each time they uh, um, that you send a mess uh, a gift, right? Because uh, she sent me uh, this uh, picture where she was receiving the gift, and it says uh, from Fernando, right? Uh huh. And yeah. she's there, uh, yeah, in a door, like uh, in front of the door. Yeah, they use that to just keep you keep you on the hook. It makes it gives you this feeling that it's real, but. Uh... Yeah. Did you, uh, Fernando, you're, you're a, a relatively young guy. Uh, did you ever try to get her off a paid chat? Any of these ladies, what did they do when you try to get them off a page? Say, listen, you've got WhatsApp, I'm sure Viber, uh, Facebook messenger, mm -hmm. right? I mean, let's talk for free. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this, this girl, Blada, um, it was like, um, I tried this uh, about a year later The like, uh, I started chatting with her or corresponding. And about a year later, I tried uh, contacting her directly. But um, before that, I, I had uh, also corresponded with uh, several ladies there. And, um, you know, the first one, it was like the first month, the, the first month I, I used this site, there was this Russian girl uh, from St. Peter Petersburg. And um, she said that she wanted to contact me outside of the of the latter latter date and um you know i said it's okay i'll send you my my email address then and so um, i sent her that and she said that it, it was blocked by the by the filters from the correspondence right and then uh she asked me to send a picture with my uh, my letter you know my my writing uh, sending her my my phone number or something like that and so i sent her the the photo i took a picture and i i was hoping she she contacted me but um then uh she sent me another message saying that uh, she couldn't receive it and that the the website had blocked it again and she sent me like she said that uh, she would send her information instead and when i received the the message uh the um, the website showed a, like a, how do you say, um, a phone. It's a picture of a phone with a red uh, mark. Like, uh, no, you oh, can't, yeah, yeah. like, uh, prohibited, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's forbidden to, to send uh, contact info by pictures as well. Yeah. So that's how, how clever the, the scams are, because even if you uh, do something like that, they're still charging you for, for each letter, right? Yeah. It's like five bucks each message. And that's the like the least of the scams because there are some uh, PPL scams that uh, charge you incoming and outgoing, right? This one uh, just charges you uh, uh, like outgoing messages. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, understand. So, what tips? Um, uh, what what tips do you have, Fernando, for guys? Any any pearls of wisdom you'd say you've learned from your <laughs> hardships here? Yeah, like a lot. <laughs> a lot. I have a lot. Like, go I could go it. on. For... The top three, maybe your, your top. Mo you think are the most important? Um, if you could, 
if you could tell yourself, if you could go back in time before this started mm -hmm. and tell yourself three pieces of wisdom, what, what would they be? Like I would repeat one of your pearls of wisdom is just get on a plane and go to Ukraine directly and don't uh, use a, a PPL site, uh, not even for building out your options, not even for that. This is not even necessary. You, you, you see beautiful women like all, all over the place. So, but um, there's the, the other situation that I think in, in, it's in your, in your channel as well, that not all are, are interested in international dating. So that, that would be like the, the con of doing that, right? But you have uh, greater, like uh, greater chances to find her that way than uh, doing the, the whole writing thing. Yeah. You know? And yeah. the other one, uh, the second one would be like, uh, try to get her on a video chat. Um, I, I think someone was saying that um, they can also yeah. fake that, right? Uh, but uh, if uh, you can get the girl to like actually prove that she's the, the one there live, then there's a, a possibility that she might be real. That's one of them. Yeah, the that's tips. a good one. And, and the last one, maybe get her on a phone call or Skype. Uh, that would, uh, it, I think it's uh, more expensive to do that, but uh, it's better off than just writing to some, uh, how do you say, the Igor. <laughs> Igor, yeah. Some never call Igor, right? <laughs> yeah. Or some boy there behind a, a computer somewhere in Ukraine. But uh, yeah, um, that's basically my my advice if you still want to try Ukraine dating. Thanks again, Fernando. I wish you all the best. Thanks for sharing. Um, you know, your your. I know it was hard. It's always hard to be so open on such a sensitive topic. So I uh, thank you for paying it. Yeah. Forward. You can see me like uh, like pretty normal right now, but uh, the emotional impact uh, is not uh, very good. You know, after you know you've been scammed, it's a very heart wrenching thing. Thanks again. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Nice talking to you.